All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. No, uh, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, what we do here is we usually look at yung mga trending names at kinukuha po natin yun sa listahan na pinoprovide ng Investagrams. So if you use Investagrams as your charting platform or as your charting provider, you usually find that list on the right-hand side of your screen. Okay? We also do chart requests. So kung meron po kayong mga requests, be sure to note them in the comments section below. And I do try to get to all of them eventually. Uh, minsan lang hindi ako as fast as some people would prefer but uh, I do try na ma-entertain lahat ng mga requests nyo and make sure na ma-cover ko lahat para lahat masaya, di ba? Now, usually, we do a mixture of both halong trending names and halong chart requests and today's not gonna be any different. Okay? So, let's start off with ABS. So, ABS, ang nangyari was uh, price came up here, no? Strong move up. Nag-pull back tayo. Bumalik tayo do sa white zone natin. Okay? Uh, we discussed this before. Doon tayo nag-react. Doon tayo nag-bounce. Okay? Tapos lumapit siya dito sa area of resistance natin around 15. Tapos nag-pull back na naman. Okay? So, ang gusto natin makita dito is kung bullish tayo, kailangan more or less mag-hold na tayo dito. Mag-form ta sana tayo ng uh, parang higher... Uh, lower, higher, low. Sorry. Lagi ako nalilito sa ganyan. Kayo ba nalilito rin kayo sa mga higher, high, higher, low? I always get them confused. Anyways, uh, let me zoom in a bit. Ha? So, pwede rin kasi siya sabihin na para nagpa-flag siya ng ganito. Eh, no? So, we want to see it carve a higher low here. Although, hindi pa namang end of the world kung if we pull back deeper into this white zone. What I don't want to see is mabasag tong white zone na to altogether. Kasi kung mabasag yung white zone altogether, what might happen is price could come back and fill this gap here, maybe coming back into this lower white zone below. So gusto natin makita is mag-break tayo to the upside. Pero di lang basta-basta break to the upside. I want it to clear 15 sana. Bakit 15? Kasi uh, I wanted to clear this high here. But since we're so close dito sa area na to, na may congestion tayo before, mas malinis kung mabreak na lang natin above 15 Para malinis na open na tong area na to above us, yung 15 to 16.86 na area. Sa mga nagtatakasan ng gagaling yung 16.86, it's from this level here. So, itong previous high na to na nag-act as resistance. Okay? So, yun yung tinitingnan ko for ABS. Um, you might be thinking, basta ba nag-break siya ng flag, bullish na? Essentially, dapat, oo. Pero again, uh, I would just be careful. Kasi sabi natin nag-break tayo dito this around 14.4, 14.5. Sabi natin hinabol natin siya dyan. Our stop for me needs to go beneath this white zone. So medyo around 13.2, no? Tapos immediate resistance natin will be at 15. So that means na kahit anong angulo natin tingnan, hindi ganong aganda yung risk reward. Okay? Yes, it might break 15 and move on. But syempre, kaya nga tayo may resistance kasi rin respect natin siya. So, bigyan natin siya ng konting respeto and expect na maybe it holds. So, let's assume risk accordingly. Okay? Uh, next, let's look at LTG. So, I've gotten more than a few requests sa LTG, no? And, essentially, not much has changed. Yun nga, sabi natin before, uh, price possibly carved out a higher low here, pushed higher, bumalik tayo dito sa level of resistance na to. Doon tayo na untog last week, di ba? Push down, came back, bumalik tayo dito sa white area natin. Tapos more or less nag-hold lang tayo doon. Okay, so ngayon, consolidating pa rin yung price. Uh, not much has happened. So, ang ayaw kong makita is mabasag tong area na to, yung 9.47 to 9.46. Kasi that opens up the possibility na mabalikan natin yung area beneath. Okay, I realize na hindi buong buo kasi maaring mag-hold tong mga previous lows na to, but more or less yun yung area na tinitignan natin if mabasag nga to. ba? Tapos, to the upside naman, uh, hindi ko alam bakit to bumalik, no? Alam ko, minub natin to sa last na video natin, eh. To the upside, I want to see a break above 10.88 na. Okay? If mabreak natin yung 10.88, then that opens up this area here. Ah, nawala yung pen ko. Okay? That opens up this area here. Okay? If mabasag natin yung 11.5, then that opens up to 12.06, then 12.5, and so on. Okay, now I realize na 
bakit ang line ng isang resistance mo 15.5? Uh, nakikita ko na mga dito. It's just that eto weekly levels lang kasi minark out ko eh. Uh, mga daily levels di ko pa ina-adjust kasi di pa naman siya umaangat doon eh. So, walang sense na pangunahan. Panoorin po muna natin. Ang maganda niyan, sama-sama naman po natin itong binabantayan. Sama-sama natin tinitignan. Sama-sama tayong matututo. Sama-sama rin tayong magte-trade kung nagkataon. No? Okay. Uh, next, let's take a look at SMPH. So, SMPH, um, essentially, uh, a student of mine was saying na parang cup and handle Diba? Tapos may inverted head and shoulders here or another cup and handle depending on how you want to look at it, no? But the problem is kasi eto ako lang ah, hindi ko sinasabing ganito yung tama, hindi ko sinasabing ganito dapat yung gawin nyo. Pero ako lang kasi usually yung mga inverted head and shoulders pattern or mga cup and handle pattern para sa akin reversal yan eh. Uh, reversal or uh, strong continuation, no? Meaning tumaas, nagdip, tapos nagganyan bumelo to break to break the high. Kaso etong SMPH uh, it's still stuck within this larger range here. Okay? I mentioned before na for some odd reason uh, hindi ko gano August chart ng SMPH in general. Eh. I don't trade this a lot. I think I've traded this a grand total of once, maybe twice. That's pushing it. I think once lang eh. Kasi for some odd reason hindi ko gano August yung Itsura niya. Hindi ko, hindi ko ma-explain kung bakit. No? Uh, I have nothing against SM. Talagang nakakataon lang na itong SMPH na chart mismo, um, it confounds me a little bit. Parang hindi ko gusto the way na nag-form yung candles or something. Basta hindi ko siya gano'ng maintindihan. But what I do know is it we are still within this range here. So if I was gonna trade this, I would want to see it break here, close above 38.7 para mag-open up tong area na to up to 42. What I don't want to see naman, ang bearish sa akin, is if mabasag yung range altogether dito sa 31.45. Kasi if that breaks, then that opens up this larger range below. So that's 27.5 to 31.45 na area. Okay? So guys, I'd like to just apologize again kung may naririnig kayo ng mga background noise. Again, uh, yung construction sa amin talagang it's very, very near na, you know? And it's, it, it seems like they're gonna be there for a while. And while I do try to record around them, uh, paminsan-minsan talaga, di ko maiwasan eh. So, pasensya na. Kung medyo may konting ingay, I'll just try to speak over them. Also, guys, uh, if you enjoy these videos, if you find them helpful, if you find them educational, if you find them even mildly entertaining, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel, no? Uh, every little bit helps. And it's one of the few ways kasi for me to assess kung talaga nga ba nagugustuhan nyo yung content natin. Diba? Siyempre, I want to produce more of what you like. Diba? I want to produce more of the videos na nakakatulong sa inyo. So that's one of the few ways for me to find out if this is one of those videos. Okay? Uh, moving on, let's look at dito. So, wow. <laughs> so dito, uh, nagpapatuloy siya bumaba, no? So, nag-break na tayo below yung initial proposed SRO price. Okay? Pero syempre, di pa naman final yun. Baka may mga insider na akaalam na mas mababa pa pala or something, no? So, the next level of support is 4.8. As if mabasag pa yan, we're looking at this area here. 3.5 to 3.9. Bakit area? Kasi we're looking na parang ito yun eh. Yung previous consolidation sa akong saan tayo nagkaroon ng cluster ng highs. Okay, so kaya ako in siya as an area right there. Now, uh, wala pang sign of bullishness for me in the midterm, meaning I wouldn't even try to uh, play this for bounce. No, I, I, I'm sure na a lot of you are better traders than me can play this ng bounce. But for me, uh, there are easier trades out there na hindi kailangan ipilit na itrade ang dito. Okay? So, Para sa akin, kailangan muna magpakita nito ng mas maayos. Kaya konting gilas ba? Break to the upside. At least come back to this area here. Mas prefer ko pa nga kung mabasag niya itong 7.5 eh. I just want to see something more clear-cut, more defined na okay, sige, may nagbabago. Kasi as is, talagang dahan-dahan lang siya. Parang tumutulo lang ng dahan-dahan pa baba. And usually, mga ganyan, mga grinding na price action, mahirap yung timingan eh. For me ah, Kasi, you never know. 
dahil nga it's just grinding to one direction, you never know if it's done. Diba? There's no force, there's no nothing. Essentially, parang slight downward consolidation except for this. Ito, mabilis na. But for this, parang daan-daan lang siya. Diba? It's just grinding down. So for Dito, I would prefer to wait for better structure before making up my mind on if whether or not I want to take a position or something or enter into a trade. And then we'll see from there. Honestly, Mahirap magsabi right now ng uh, maganda, structurally speaking, with regards sa dito, other than we are approaching these levels of interest. That's it. Okay? Now, nakatanggap ako ng question sa comment section asking me if kung sa midterm daw ba, ano ang tingin ko sa dito? Tataas ba? Bababa ba? Or whatnot? Uh, as you may have ascertained from the way that I present yung mga charts when we do our daily charting sessions, no? Uh, I don't usually think na, ah, tataas to, ah, bababa to. I plan out scenarios, tas kapag sumunod yung price, then hahanapin ko ano yung dapat kong gawin. Okay? Kasi sa totoo lang, I can have all the opinions I want. Sabi natin, ah, hindi, feeling ko babalik to ng 8, babalik to ng Gs, babalik to ng 12, whatever. Kung ayaw ng market, wala namang kwenta yung opinion ko eh. ba? We always ask questions na, Eh, paano ko kunwari 3, 5 years down the line? Baka tumaas yan. That's true. Okay? Of course, anything is possible. I always say na, kunyari may nagtanong, pwede bang maging ganito? Of course, pwede. Kasi lahat naman posible sa market eh. Okay? Ang sa akin lang, paano natin masasabi yun? Yes, there's the fundamentals that we can lean on, pero marami rin namang pwedeng mangyari eh. Inaasahan natin na may mangyaring kakaiba para tumaas ulit yung price sa future. Correct? So, bakit di natin pwedeng asahan yung opposite? Bakit di natin pwedeng asahan na may mangyaring masama at lalo pang sumama yung presyo? It has to be both ways. Hindi pwedeng singular lang yung approach. ba? Hindi pwedeng one-sided lang yung pagtingin. So, yun lang. Sa akin, uh, plan out scenarios whether, kunyari, gusto mo midterm, maybe look at higher time frames or whatever. Plan out scenarios na if it does this, then ito yung gagawin mo next. If it doesn't, then wala ang gagawin. Or, kukunyari, naipit ka, then you have to consider na, okay, ano yung plano ko from this? Paano ko mag-recover? Alright? And then finally, let's look at MM. So, MM, uh, we're approaching yung level of support here. That's 3.02. And it's looking quite bearish, no? So, di ba nagsuspend to when it resumed, nag-gap up tayo? Hindi nag-hold? Binentahan ka agad, bumalik lang tayo sa level na to, and now we're trading beneath it. Okay? Kung mabasag tong 3.02, the next support natin is around here, sa 2.76 na area. Dito yung galing sa cluster of lows na yan, nakikita nyo to your left. And if mabasag din yan, we're looking possibly at 1.97. Okay? Now, um, for me, para maging mas bullish yung itsura niya, I want to see it trade above 3.68 para mag-open up tong area na to. 3.68 to 4.29. And if mabasag yung 4.29, ito naman yung sa taas yung mas malaki. That's 4.29 to 4.93. Uh, right now, kung kunwari mahilig kayong mag-buy on support, then yes, we're getting close to support here. And we'll see what happens. Mag-hold ba siya or mag-break ba siya? Hindi natin alam, no? Uh, all we can do is wait and see kung ano ang gagawin ng price if umabot man siya doon. But hopefully, para sa mga may hawak ng MM, it starts pushing to the upside. Mag sana at the very least, mag-hold yung support and we start trading within this range, maybe. And then we'll see what happens from there. Basta wag lang sana mabasag. Okay, wag sana mabasag yung 3 pesos. Alright? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin for today. I hope kahit pa paano nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Okay? Or at least may natutunan kayo kahit konti. And as always, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really, really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!